Hi everyone, this is my first time at HackCon. Um, I'm also new to the season. It's great to be here. Um, and huge thank you to all the sponsors that made this possible and all the hardworking folks at Major League Hacking. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about getting alumni involved in your hackathon at your club and at your school. So my name is Jessica Plinsky. You can find me in all those places there. You can take a look at the deck offline. Um, I was the co-founder of HackPostam and I'm currently helping to organize Hack Upstate, a hackathon in Syracuse, New York. So how do you get your alumni involved? First, I want to talk about the Board of Advisors, sometimes also called the Board of Trustees platform that we have at SUNY Potsdam. Next, talk about how to facilitate donations to your club or your hackathon, and how do you actually get out and find alumni. So Board of Advisors is an alumni dedicated to our, the success of our school um, and our club, and therefore all the efforts, such as Hack Potsdam, that we have at our school. Uh, we have over 20 members um, from the class of 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So we have a very diverse group of alumni that meet twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. Um, they do a lot of awesome things. They give us very generous financial contributions, but they also help students out with mock interviews and resume critiques. Um, and sometimes if there's jobs, if those opportunities are there, they also help students getting jobs. Um, and they also come back to hear caps of presentations, which are in the form of internship reports and senior projects. Um, and you very well might have a group of alumni like this at your school. Um, so dig in and ask your department chair and alumni relations office if there's something like this that exists and get them all together. Typical schedule events for these board meetings. On Friday, mostly for the students with the mock interviews and resume critiques. Then on Saturdays, they have the official meeting. They hear an update from our club, the ACM. Um, and then they, they view the capstone presentations. So overall, these two days are just a really amazing way for alumni and students to connect with one another. Uh, alumni donation platform is basically a fancy way of saying that alumni pledge money each semester to our club. Um, so one thing I want to bring up here is, don't get me wrong, physical rewards are awesome, love swag and shirts and stuff like that. Um, but you want to give things such as sponsoring meals, uh, putting them on donation pages, or putting on the, the back of your t-shirts. Um, because you also want to put that money into your club and not back into merch to give right back to them. Um, most companies will also match the donations that, um, the, that they give, so make sure you explore that as well. Um, and you also want to make sure you get approval and clearance from your department chair and alumni relations office because you don't want to leave a bad taste in anyone's mouth if you're going out and reaching these uh, alumni without them knowing because they also do that. So we actually had, we brought this up at our board of advisor meeting and we had $800 per semester pledged to us myself included, because I've also joined the Board of Advisors. Um, so it's not bad, right? 800 a semester guaranteed to us. Um, so pledge form, this is how we facilitated the pledges. Um, so your name, how much you'd like to contribute, and what areas you'd like your contributions to go to. It's very important here to keep it simple and let alumni know exactly where those donations are going. Um, you can take a look at the full one there. They have the option to opt into a, a, you know, a prospectus and a few rewards there as well. So how do you actually find alumni? The most obvious one is to get out in your community, go to as many events, conferences, and meetups as you possibly can. You can also leverage your department chair and alumni relations office, as I said, and see if a group like this exists. Social media is also pretty cool too. LinkedIn actually has a really cool portal where you can view all of the alumni that are, have graduated from your colleges. Um, and once you make those contacts, invite them back to give talks or invite them to be judged at your hackathon. Um, so it really works. We actually went to a conference in Malta, New York, which is about three and a half hours away from Potsdam, and we all uh, got in vans, and we met William Kennedy, class of 91, um, and we invited him back to be a judge at our hackathon. He gave a tech talk, and he's now ultimately joined our board of advisors. Um, so you really never know who you'll meet, so get out there. And uh, if you want to know how we found out about that conference, well, guess what? It was from another alumni of Potsdam and Clarkson at Hack Upstate when we met him. Um, Jason Rotella, awesome guy, he was a mentor to me, and he's also judge of the hackathon. Um, so the point I'm really trying to drive up home here is get out in your communities. You never know who you'll meet at these events. Once you've met them, invite them back to give talks. Um, explore those alumni groups if you have them on campus, and if you don't, then create one. Get alumni together. Um, and finally, once you've had these warm contacts and your alumni know you, um, then ask for generous donations that can help further your club and your hackathon. And again, this is offline. Um, thank you, everyone.